City Odatu Pindoy in La'ak is an inspiring story of how a community rejected war and rebuilt their lives. But there's one problem. The road in looks like this. Less than 10 years ago, this place was controlled by the MPA. But with the willpower of one man, the whole area and indeed province are now rebel free. <laughs> Good morning, I forgot how to do this. My alarm didn't go off this morning because my alarm, I accidentally entered 5 a.m. on the Monday to Friday one. And 5 a.m. is definitely a time that should only be Monday to Friday, so I understand. Amigo! Ah, Montag! But as I've said before, I'm not becoming a moto vlogger. It's just the best way to get to Laak, where I'm going to transfer a vehicle. After all, the motorbike just can't get to our destination. You might recognize these guys from Illigan. Long time no see. <laughs> okay, we're in Laak. I'm moving over to this one with Mr. Sakalam, and we're heading 75 kilometers this way. Okay, this is really, um, I really want to show exactly what these vehicles can do, what overlanding can do, and what the skills you develop in races like the Rainforest Challenge can actually achieve on a practical basis. Hopefully that sentence was actually proper grammar in English, I don't know. Let's go. To the hills. <laughs> yeah. And this new concrete road has really helped communities along the way. But we're going to turn off. But this part's relatively straightforward, because further down the road, we reach a real challenge. This is a challenge. This rut is really deep. Oh, the now. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. And further up, it just gets worse and worse. First is the most experienced driver, who probably got stuck. Which time for the winch? But finding something strong enough to connect it to seemed difficult. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And in the end, they were able to get out a different way. The thing with this is all the roads coming up into the mountains used to be like this, 56 barangays of Laak. Used to have insurgency problems, all sorts. There are people who live here. That's why I really wanted to feature this. And now we're really stuck and actually do need winching. As we thought we were making progress, there was a further setback when the car fell into the deep gully. You can see all the way down where he's just scraped his differential, the only way to get out of it. Oh. 
Hey, but he can fix that. Oh yeah, there's six more cars. Yeah, well, I was stood in that ditch, but he was fine. <laughs> oh, by the way, Iluxes are the best. Hello. 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 no? And so, a full three hours later, it was time to enter the village. The centre of the city was small, but there were many more houses spread out into the forest. Hi, Sagging, Sigi. Thank you. Out here, I appreciate everything because it doesn't come easily. Three hours to get all the cars up that stretch of road. That's the struggle they face here. You grow produce, and how do you get it out? How do you make a living? And from what I can see, there's a lot of people living in these houses, so... Let's see, slowly does it. Part of the project was to hand out this ayuda. And while it'll help for a while, I really wanted to learn more about their everyday lives here. <laughs> With people in other remote communities I've been to often being quite shy, the people's sense of humour and friendliness was really heartwarming, especially given that there was an insurgency here not that long ago. <laughs> They're joking with me that 10 hectares per liwat. <laughs> in English? 10 hectares per child that I father. <laughs> but I just wanted to visit one of the houses to understand their lives. Not for any nefarious purposes. We got fun. Very good. Oh. Original. Ah. Original nga balay. Tahintang sa mabadjero. Unya kining lugar ato mo ng panahon mo ni ang pugad ni Commander Dato. Tindogan. Katindogan. Commander sa MPE. Oong. Oog si... Ato mo pa wala pa siya magsurinder. Pero kay nagsurinder naman siya gumikan sa pangalan sa mga lumad diri. So kining lugar ha. Peaceful na way samok. I'm only in Kusina. There we Oh, Hitanan, okay, Lang, Pavesa, Ako, and Agdalako, Doyan. Oh, what do you come to Sudo, okay, Lang? If I don't fit here, okay, one hammock or more. Oh, 
Ano mm, mga bata? Mm. Api lang ba, mga bata na pulo. Mm. So, pero isa lang kapamilya. Oh, isa kapamilya. Kagamay ka, may isa. Kung makatulog man, may kaanad naman, may aning nga kahintang, sir. Okay man, yung mga kinabuhi, Demi. Ano sa man? Ako, okay na lang yung kaya may lahat. May kaya. Hmm. May kaya. No, may nang aguanta na lang. Hmm. Ano si mga pero, ano sa mga kuwan pang kinabuhi, Demi? Kuwan may naghinahinay yung uma, mais, saging. Huwag mga ginagmay lagi nga tanong. Hindi man para sa uban dito sa kuan na iba nilang mga puhunan na magkaluag-luag sila. Kay kami camera may magkuan. Walang may mga sprayer, abono. Hindi ang pinagkagwapang asawa ni Pindoy. Naibog manggani ko sa iya ha? Ayay! Ay mauna yung mong kuan. May ma-snack ka, nina lang, snack. Ay, mao lang yung, oo, snack, oo. Kindi, pares na mo kindi. Ay, kandi, ne? Wala may kindi, kanina lang. Mani, mani ka, higaw. Ay, mao man, no? Ah, kay kuhan, pwede ko matilaw. Mama ka? Oo, pwede ko, pwede ko matilaw. Chewing this long term gives what looks like a red smile. Makahuman. Okay, rak. Nakaagi na ka? Ah, wala pa. Ilua lang, ayaw to na Lua Ano? Ano? Usapa Ay, lagtun lang Malutan ah Ay, akong tasupa Bitsin Bitsin na Lamas ba? Lamas Lamas Ay, lamas Lamas Mas mampula na Wapa. Mula na. Mula na. Wapa. Happy na. Happy na. Okay. Just be warned. This can be quite addictive and toxic in large quantities. So I was just having a small quantity once. Ilua, ilua ang inulaway. Ilua. Amang kung 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 Mas tama na kung gawin, mas tama na kung mas tama na kung nawog. Oo, 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 oo. Pula na, pula na kano? Na sniper Davy. Oh, kahit ka. Oh, yun man na, oh yun. Ganon ko na. Mau mana mak anlingal semangat pada Dewi? Mau mangkul kang obang. Hmm. Sudah lepas. Ah okay. Ah mau mana medula, medula dula. Mau semangat hubok kau? Maanat nama kan, madu guys ini kan kuan. Hmm. Tulang kiri lau kan tu maanat nak kan? Hmm. Ah okay okay. Muak mas kuan, muak mas buhi mah. Hmm. Mana mas abuak mengemata. Oh. <laughs> and then we laughed a lot at something I can't put on the video because it's a bit, um, yeah, never mind. <laughs> อ๋อเขาเยอะเขาเยอะเขาเยอะมากนะตั้งนะมองมานั่งบาลายน้ำมุดมีดาตุสักกันเลยเดี๋ยวจะอ่านตั้งเอาบ้านเดี๋ยว
ayo. Mo pila. Pila ka tao nung payo, Devi. Kuan ra mi duha. Ama ayo. Nida, tu kami raman ehan, og kaning ang tambat ang pagdan. Kumu away mo, na kay lahi-lahi. Dere. Ako lang pa dere didto na pod. Oo. Na dere na pod, sir. Oh, sige. Kaingin, Devi. Mau ke ingin, mau bag, mau pucul kat atas, mau kau musunok. Oh, mau pa, mau pa, imong kau. Oh, ma, oh. Mahun, nyak sunugun pa. Ayo, oh. Lami yang kau uti. Makit anak tu, bintu, diri. Oh, sama no, kabi kan indah tevi. Melanghui. Mau nama langhui. Mal. Muting kahoy. Ah, jadi nalanggoy. 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 Pinakabugas na namo ni. Diri nang sila yung 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 Ay, na ay sili. Ayo. All these guns you've seen, they use for hunting. Mani. Mani. Life is simple out here. Kamoti, sweet potato, wooden fires, the best. And so we bunkered down for the night, appreciating everything. And this sitio is a gateway to the vast forest that awaits. Ikaw luto? Ako luto. Para sarap. Ah, para lami. Good morning, by the way. I slept in a hammock pretty well. It's the hammock that came from Northern Sama, from Juan and Dondoy. These guys are absolutely brilliant. They're hilarious. Imagine, the first thing you talk to me about is breeding. <laughs> it's cold at night. But they're very open and welcoming and friendly and happy people. But yeah, they did. Look, let's not glamorize this life as some kind of off-grid perfection because look it's difficult but you can see they, they, they accept that's how it is but it is it's very difficult for them with the road and agriculturally and these are the things when I come to these kinds of places I hear time and time again the road is so important to get the goods in and out and agriculture same same but very, very nice people. Actually, when I come here, my intention is really to open up these places just to show people that these people exist. So otherwise, we can very easily forget the, forget them. And I don't ever, ever want to forget people. Nakatan ako yun mo sa aming kalisod. Sa kalisod lang da answer din, maraming problema, pero bawas-bawas na. Bawas-bawas na kay naghimo naman ni grupo para kami matabangan sa Uh, Gobyerno o Obampa sa mga uh, unsadya nga mga rehiyon o sa masa pastor o unsadya, i-welcome po namo sa para sa pag uh, paimanglo sa kaayuhan tinay sa pulong sa Diyos para matuto ang tao para magbinutan, para makabot ang kaayuhan. When I speak to that Pindoy off camera which I like to do because then I get a real sense of what's happening here I hear so many stories of hope and so many stories of how they've really, I mean, they've worked hard, but it's been a struggle. But look at what they've done. They've, they've built some really good foundations. Because back in 2015, this whole area was full of insurgents, full of MPA. And the whole Comval province, as it was called then, was kind of, that's what people used to warn me about. Datu Pindoy was one of the first who said, his people are going to fight back, surrender. And when the rebels used to come around to eat one day, I've heard varying stories of how this happened, but either way, they were forced to surrender. Forced to surrender so they could keep their lives, put it that way. And since then, they've built this community. They've planted crops. They've built homes. The children now go to school, which they didn't used to before. Because you know that they, they were fed up of insurgency. And that was 2015. And since then, the last rebel commander surrendered earlier this year 
and this province, which was once a hotbed of activity, is now insurgency free, which is amazing. There's still, of course, a way to go. It's not finished, of course. It's a work in progress, but to see this and see the people so friendly, welcoming, open, joking with me about breeding, it's so, so, so good to see, you know, because there's a good future for them and they want to move forwards. That's what I see all the time. And now we can change the definition of Mindanao. People don't want this anymore. They don't want these rebels because they've realized these rebels don't help them. A con comando y la ban. As they said yesterday, the commander, they don't have to fight because I want to change the definition of this. Why do they own that term? They shouldn't own that term. That art, let's have a laugh about that art, it's funny. Why, but they, they, they don't deserve to own a term. They don't deserve it. And I'm really, I'm, I'm proud of what this art do and what these people have done. These communities now, they're slowly, they're rising up. And life, it will, it'll improve. He said now, life is so much better. You know, it's nice to leave a place behind with a good feeling in your heart. What's the name of the sounds? What's the name of the sounds? The struggle will be worth it in the end. All the pajeros are coming sideways. Must be a pajero thing. Slide sideways down. The land crews are coming down with so much more grace. Elegance. That's Toyota. That's Toyota power. Toyota Sakalam! <laughs> and though the path might be fraught with difficulties, it's the greatest fulfillment when you overcome. And one day the road will look like this. <laughs>